Hey guys! Hi guys! Another rendition of Nerd Mail. And this time, wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. You guys. So we got boxes, we got letters. big envelopes, we have letters. <laughs> we got a lot to go through, so let's get into it. Up first, we have a letter from Annie Bugs. And Annie Bugs is my one of my favorite people in this entire world because she <laughs> is our five-year-old niece. And she sent us fan mail, so let's open it. <laughs> she watches up our videos, so. <laughs> all the time. She knows how to get to YouTube by herself, so. <laughs> Crazy how young the kids are that are on YouTube nowadays. I know it. Aww! <laughs> she drew Spider Man as a pop for us. That is awesome. <laughs> Spider Man's her favorite superhero in the world. So. I painted her face like Spider Man during the 4th of July. Yeah. So. <laughs> she wanted that instead of like yeah. American flag. Who wants American flag when you can be Spider Man? Spider Man! <laughs> this is so sweet, Annie. <laughs> Up next, we have a letter from David, and he is from Florida. Oh, how sweet! Ah. He drew us two little pictures. Earth 2 Batman. Oh, there's, oh, there's a letter on it. it. says, Dear Nerd Therapy, this is a picture of Earth 2 Batman. One of ten of my pops I know at a small collection. You are by far my favorite YouTube channel. One last thing, sorry for my handwriting from David. Yes, Instagram, thedavid0827. First off, your handwriting's fine. Your trust handwriting me. is Perfect. You want to know about bad handwriting, <laughs> you'll want to see my handwriting. Yeah. But dude, that is awesome. Really, really appreciate that. And then he did our logo, Nerd Therapy, and on the back says rocks! So thank <laughs> yes. you, this is cute! I love it! <laughs> David, awesome. Thank you so much. Up next we have Jonathan from San Diego, California. Okay, so we have a lot of letters here. Let's see. Amy, Amy, Mark. <laughs> here you go, Amy! <laughs> okay. Oh, and Matt, and Mark, and Mark, and I don't know what's going on here. Open first. Okay, here we go. We found it open first. Dear Nerd Therapy, hi, my name is Jonathan. Beep. Say your last name. I am 10 years old, but turning 11 on August 10th. Leo's. That's right. I have some questions to ask you. What is your favorite Funko Pop? Mine is Yukon Cornelius. Mm, that's a good one. That's a very good one. What's your favorite? Uh, my favorite is probably always going to be. Uh, mine's probably the original Stitch or the Wally Pop because I love both of those. What is your rarest Funko Pop? The Wicked Witch Comic Con exclusive from 2011, I believe it is. Oh, maybe I don't know. Uh, Eleven, you're right. Yeah, yep, 2011. 11. That's a long time ago. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I think we also we have like the Air Batman too, which is kind of yes. rare. His chest logo is actually yellow instead of just a bat. What is your favorite series of Funko Pops? Harry Potter. <laughs> I like DC. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> mine is the Rudolph Funko Pops. How long have you had your channel for? <laughs> uh, since I think it, we I originally started in 2010, mm -hmm. but we really didn't do anything with it. Yeah. And so really, the actual channel that you guys know, it's been around for two, two years, and a half years, two, two years, something like that. Yeah. yeah. The last question is, what is your most wanted Funko Pop? Mine is Hawkman. Mine is yeah, the OG Green Arrow. Yeah, the, the Martian Manhunter is my, <laughs> the one I want the most, probably. I also love your Instagram. Mine is at Funko Page. Check out my channel. It is the Funko Pop photo of General Zod. Thank you for reading this letter. Love, Jonathan. Jonathan, you're awesome. Thank you so much. Let's Thank continue you. into your letters because you have a lot more. And it is Batman. Batman. Mine is Harley Quinn. This is awesome. It says Harley Quinn over and over in the shape of Amy. Amy. Which <laughs> her name's Ashley, but that's okay. I still like this. And this one is Batman, Batman, Batman in the shape of Matt. <laughs> hey, which, that's okay. I was called Matt my whole life yes. growing up for whatever reason. <laughs> and then this is HQ with Harley Quinn's logos on it. This is really cute. Yeah, that's Thank awesome. Thank you. They know us so well. I know. This is a really thick, thick envelope yeah. from Jeffrey from Glenview, Illinois. Holy vanoli. Letters. Oh, I see drawing. I do too. Oh. This is do cool. the drawing first yeah, or the letter? Go ahead and do the letter first. I saw some cool stuff. First. Dear Mark and Ashley, I have been watching you for about a year now. You are the best Funko Pop reviewers on YouTube. I only have one pop, which is Unmasked Batman. Oh yeah, I forgot my name is Jeffrey. My sister's name is Ashley. I am 12 years old. I am a huge comic book fan. My favorite character is Aquaman. That's a good character. It's a good character, yeah. Favorite of. My second favorite is The Flash. Inside of I included three things. Two drawings, one of Batman, and one of Harley Quinn. Also, I made one Batman rainbow loom charm. I hope you enjoy. Your fan, Jeffrey. 
Well, thank you, Jeffrey. That's, nice, That's really Jeffrey, sweet. It. And I love your sister's name, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm over mine first because I saw it earlier. So it's the Batman Funko Pop drawing. Oh. And then here's the Loom Charm. Look how cool this is. It's like made of like little rubber bands. I'm not real familiar with loom charms or anything but i can tell you this thing is cool whatever That's that is very cool that looks like it was hard to make yeah i don't know how you made this to be honest with you i couldn't do this i don't think i don't i know i couldn't do that i'm going to open mine oh look it's harley that's a really good drawing of her awesome. <laughs> i love this her sassiness and she has her her mallet <laughs> oh this is good Thank so there's you. our couple batman and harley quinn and they hate each other but they don't really hate each other they, they secretly love each other because joker's all like Yo, Harley, you're mine, but I don't really like you. And That's Batman's right. like, Harley, get away from me. And then Harley's like, I just want to love you. And then Batman's like, okay. <laughs> Up next, we have from Gamer Boss 46. So let's check out what's inside this one. Looks like we have another drawing, but this is oh, colorful. Oh, so this is what right. is this one? Oh, Loki. it's Frost Loki. Look how cool that is, guys. Frost I Loki. I love that. <laughs> That's awesome. That's Dude, a great drawing! Yeah, we have so many drawings from people, it's awesome. <laughs> you know, there are so many great artists in the world, and I can't even make a smiley face with, like, normal eyes, so... <laughs> <laughs> so, Gamer Boss, thank you so much. Even thank though we don't you. know your real name, but if we did, we'd tell you thank you, too. <laughs> okay, up next we have a letter from Javen, and he's from Hol Holland, Pennsylvania? Holland, Holland, Pennsylvania, maybe? No. And I've been talking to Javen on Instagram back and forth. Read me first, please. Dear Mark and Ashley, my name is Javen. I live in Holland, Pennsylvania. I started collecting Funko Pops 31 weeks ago. <laughs> wow, you got that down to that. You're like in jail, man. Scrolling <laughs> the wall. <weeks. laughs> and now I have 60 or 61 pops. I want to ask some questions. Like, what is the ugliest Funko Pop you have? Ooh, that's a. I've never had that question. I've never before. been asked that question. The, the ugliest, ugliest Funko Pop. Um, Unmasked Vader. I think he's pretty ugly. Yeah, Unmasked Vader's pretty ugly. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I guess Unmasked Jason. I mean, he's that's yeah, more that's ugly, true. dude. Yeah, he's pretty ugly. <laughs> what is your favorite movie you've seen so far in 2015? Let me think all the movies I've seen. I love Jurassic World, even though everybody hated it, but I'm in Jurassic really Park. Good. Honestly, I gotta be honest. My favorite movie so far has been Ant-Man. Yeah, I like the Ant-Man. Ant-Man was great. I don't know, man. I was so surprised. And we'll do a review of that later, but Ant-Man was really good. Yeah, I'd have to say Ant-Man's probably my favorite, too. Last question. Who do you think would win a fight? Marvel or DC? DC. DC. There ain't no doubt. <laughs> I mean, they have Batman. Come on, now. <laughs> they have Superman. Nothing could beat Superman. That's true. It's impossible. Yeah. I just started watching Arrow because you guys always talk about the TV show, and I started watching it three days ago, and I'm already on the second season because I skipped camp for three days to watch the TV show. Now Nobody I love camp. It. That's Nobody right. needs camp. I understand. We watched the first <laughs> season in a couple days, too. Yeah. <laughs> then we went and bought the next DVD, and then two days later it came out on Netflix. I drew a picture for both of you. I hope you guys like my drawing. Sorry for my crappy handwriting. Sincerely, Javen. Contact me if you want me to draw anything else for you. Why does everybody think their handwriting is so bad? I know! Guys, we don't need you to have like the perfect handwriting ever. We do not judge your handwriting. No, guys, I have seen handwriting from kids that are like six and five, and believe me, your handwriting's pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm up in mine. It says, Poor Mark, don't open until litter has been read. What do we have? Oh! Whoa! Damn, how old is he again? All right, Javen, I don't know how old you are, but this is actually really good. Like, look at this Batman. That I love the angles awesome. on it. I love his smile. I like how, you know, it's very. You know, mischievous but brave and bold at the same time. I, I know. like that. I love how his smile just like it's not like a smile you would normally see Batman show unless he's like super happy. And I love that. I love that pose. <laughs> That's it's amazing. Cool. To Ashley, do not open until letter has been read. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> look at Harley. She is awesome. She's so beautiful. That's cool too. I like look that. Look at her cheekbones. This is good. Javen, awesome, dude. This is really awesome. I love the colors. Very, very nice. You're a great artist. You should look at Keep it up. This. Up next, we have one from Jack from Beverly, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so we have a letter. So let's find out what it says. We, oh, double sided. Ooh. It says, can you sign a piece of paper and send it to me, please? If you want it, we'll do it. That's fine. Yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> I don't know why you want our autograph, but we'll, we'll do it for you. Uh, hi, Nerd Therapy. My name is Jack. Beep. And I am from Beverly, Massachusetts. My friends and I fell in love with your vids and you. We are starting a little Funko Pop collection. Our plan is that we have been doing a lemonade stand for a year now. And we have $128. Every time we buy a pop, we will never go past $100. Whoa! Uh, how old are you? <laughs> That's awesome. Man, what an entrepreneur yeah, you are. Yeah, a young entrepreneur. <laughs> 
So every time we spend, I'll have a story for you in a second. So every time <laughs> we spend money, we will earn it back. I love you guys so much. Our first pop that we ordered were Frozen, uh, Elsa, Anna, Olaf, and Spin, which was $28. My own first pop comes with a story. Here it is. So I was adding multiple pops to my Amazon cart and saving them for later. So my app glitched out, and next thing I know, I ordered a Gus Gus and Slipper pop. Can you please shout out Rico Girl, Rico's Girl? She is a nice and cool person. Shout out to Rico's Girl. <laughs> you and her made me want to collect pops. I can't send anything because my dad is on strike in Boston for Verizon. Sorry. I love you, the future. Funko Pop count 10 million. Likes. 830 million, <laughs> dislike zero, <laughs> nerd therapy, a billion subscribers. <laughs> Appreciate that, I guess. That's I awesome. Too. That's amazing. Yeah, so here's my story about lemonade stands, okay? <laughs> so, of course, when everybody's young, they, you know, you gotta figure out how to be an entrepreneur, how do you make money when you're a kid, you know, that's really hard. We have a lot of young viewers, you know, how yeah. do you do that? You know, I, I had a lemonade stand when I was young. Oh, I had several of them. Lemonade was terrible. I mean, we made these people probably hate us, but. It wasn't about that, right? You had my grandma's recipe, so it was good. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, nowadays, if you're like, if you have a lemonade stand, they kick you off you your lemonade stand. You have a permit stand. now. A permit, man. That's ridiculous. I believe that that's how it is where we live. Like, yeah. You have like a five-year-old kid with a lemonade stand, and you have a permit. If you don't, they kick you out. Right. That's bull crap. Yeah. Fight the power, snow. guys. Right. <laughs> but yeah, I, mean, I was I was uh, pushing snow for money when I was a kid. Uh, you know, you name Mowing it. Mowing yards. Mowing yards. So. Hey, whatever you gotta do to get out there in your neighborhood and make some money, do it. I was also drawing South Park you drawings. <laughs> I was hustling in elementary school, drawing the South Park <laughs> characters for Dying kids. Dying other people. I'm taking their lunch money, man. <laughs> Up next, we have a letter from Nate, and he is from Fairfax, Iowa. We have a letter that says, To Nerd Therapy from Nate, the Super Geek Show. The Super Geek Show. Dear Nerd Therapy. Hey, Nerd Therapy, I love your YouTube channel and your Funko Pop collection. My friend Sam and I do a YouTube channel similar to your guys' channel. Our YouTube is The Super Geek Show, and I bet you have seen us comment on your channel. I hope you guys liked the drawings I did for you, and they were not traced, they were freehanded. Can you guys possibly sign and send back the two nerd therapy drawings I sent you? You guys can keep the Harley Quinn and Batman drawings, though. <laughs> By the way, will this be in the next fan mail video? Yes. It might be. We'll see. <laughs> If so, hello, Nerd Therapy subscribers. Keep up the great work. Bye. <laughs> From Nate. P.S. I ordered the Super Geek Box this month. So up first, I had my Batman because everybody wants to know Batman. I love Batman. So here it is. How cool is that? That is a very good drawing. <laughs> I it love is that. A good drawing. <laughs> and then here is my Harley Quinn drawing. Man, that is so good. You guys are a great artist. I cannot believe we're, how talented everybody we're is. We're getting an awesome collage <laughs> made of we all are. these drawings of Batman and Harley Quinn. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> And then here are the nerd therapy drawings that he did and he wants us to sign and send back. We will so do that. We will do that. So finally we have a box from, look, I don't, we don't usually say the last names because, you know, we try we to keep that personal. We don't know your age and everything like right. that. So, but, you know, it's just never a good idea to tell your last name online. But I have to, I'm sorry, because this is the coolest name ever for anybody yeah. that's nerdy, okay? Oh your name is Jim Lee, dude. <laughs> Jim Lee, man. I know, I picked that up in the P.O. box, I was like, whoa, what a name! Some from Jim Lee, what possible for me? I'm envious of that name, that is I mean, so cool. the thing is, Jim Lee watches us all the time, and he loves our channel. Yeah, I mean, what can you say? So this Jim Lee is from Illinois. Well, we have a pop in here. Here we go. We have, hi guys, I just recently discovered your YouTube channel and I have been an avid subscriber since. I especially enjoy your down to earth personality and Ashley's laughters are infectious. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I just watched your review of Funko Pop Harry Potter series and I thought the Harry Potter variant from Hot Topic would be a great addition to your collection. Keep up the good work and best of wishes on your professional endeavors, Jim. And he signed it. Very professionally too, Jim. Very. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you so much for thinking of me, Jim. This is a, a, just a wonderful pop. And I've been wanting him forever. And we just opened the Grumpy Box today. And I got him too. So, But that's okay. Because you can never have enough Harry Potter in my life. So I love this. And thank you. I'm so appreciative. And I really think that it's amazing you thought of me in such a personal way. So thank you. Yeah. Okay, well, there's nerd mail for August. I mean, you guys are crazy awesome. <laughs> Isn't that really simple? You really are. I cannot believe the amount of wonderful artists that are out there and then the people who people are just think wonderful. of what we like. Yes. I mean, you don't have to do that, honestly. You do not have to send us pops 
you know, seriously, we like letters. I mean, this, it makes it a little more personal for us because, mm -hmm. you know, we do try to respond in comments on YouTube, but, you know, it's only so personal, you know? You know, it is YouTube, but, it's, you know, we try to connect with you. But there's nothing like a letter, you know? Yeah. I think the letter's a lost art, you know? I do, too. Writing a letter is just something that a lot of people don't do or don't know how to do anymore, and I think that it's just a great thing for people to get out there and just write letters, whether it be to a friend, a family member, or just sending Christmas cards. Yeah, I mean, we definitely encourage you to do that. You know, if there's, if you have, if you're a fan of somebody out there, or, or you know, a family member that you haven't talked to, you know, maybe don't text message them. Maybe don't message them through Facebook. Send them a letter. There's nothing like a letter. I know that instant gratification of a text message is amazing because you get to find out what they're thinking in that moment, but sending a letter and waiting for the response to come back and taking about a week to correspond with somebody, there's just something about that. It just takes you back to a different time, and I like that. Yeah. So, guys, seriously, we really do appreciate you doing this. You don't have to do it. But if you do want to send us something, and of course it can just be a letter, we like that, it can be a drawing, it can be anything. It doesn't have to be as awesome as a pop, like Jim Lee sent. I know, Jim, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to put him up right here. We will put our P.O. box in the description, so if you want to send us anything, we will get it. And then we always do nerd mail at the end of the month, so don't think we didn't get your letter. We just hold them, we pile them up and do them at the end of the month, so we can just have one big video yep. of everybody's goodies. Or if we don't get a lot in a month, then we'll just kind of, you know, hang on to them until we yeah. have enough to make a video, so. Alright guys, we will see you awesome nerds next time. Thanks guys! Bye! Bye.